every single thing this year, every single thing that happened, every success, every failure, we, we've talked about this before, but it was all your fault. But when you look about it, when you look at it through the lens of happening for you, not to you, then you can use it as a tool to set yourself up for next year to be able to use that failure, use that success, use that missed opportunity, use that situation, use that problem, struggle, obstacle to propel you. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Uh, I want to start off by saying Merry Christmas. It is Christmas. I hope you're having an incredible time with your family, but more importantly, I hope you're listening to this podcast. (laughs) Just kidding. You're probably not going to listen to it today, but whenever you listen to this, I hope you had an awesome Christmas, a happy holiday season. And in the spirit of the season, I wanted to give you the greatest gift that I could possibly give you in this episode. This is episode 149, by the way, the greatest gift that I can possibly give you is the next six days. So let's say you're listening to this on December 25th. Let's say you broke away from the family, got a few minutes to spend with your old friend, Tyler, and you've got six days until 2020. And you can carve out an hour, two hours, three hours, maybe an hour for a couple of days over the next six days. And that time spent can absolutely make your next year the best year of your entire life. So what would you do during that hour? What I want you to do is reflect. Reflect on 2019. I want you to reflect on your successes. I want you to reflect on your failures. I want you to really reflect on the things that you could have done better. On the one or two things that happened this year that had you gone all in, could have made this year. The one or two things this year, the one or two opportunities that you missed out on, the one or two lessons that you learned that you can take in to 2020 and capitalize. And really this is all about perspective. It's about changing the way you look at the things that have happened to you and looking at them as they've happened for you. Every single thing this year, every single thing that happened, every success, every failure, we we've talked about this before, but it was all your fault. But when you look about it, when you look at it through the lens of happening for you, not to you, then you can use it as a tool to set yourself up for next year, to be able to use that failure, use that success, use that missed opportunity, use that situation, use that problem, struggle, obstacle to propel you. You can use that as a tool that can become the reason for the success that you have next year. But you can't do that unless you actually take some time, carve out some time to truly reflect on it to put some time into just sitting down and thinking about it, maybe journaling about it, maybe you whiteboard it out, maybe you talk it out loud, like whatever that process looks like for you where you feel like you get in the best headspace to really reflect and really think. Whatever the whatever way that you do that the best, the most effective, you need to sit down and do that. Because oftentimes in, in this fast-paced world that we live in, it's so easy just to, man, let's move forward, think forward. Let's, you know, what's next? What's next? Move, move, move. And you just push through, especially the obstacles, especially the failures. I don't want to think about the failures. I don't want to think negatively. I get that. But there are lessons within those failures. There are lessons within those successes. There are lessons within every single obstacle that you had this year that unless you take the time to reflect on it, you won't, you, you won't learn what you needed to learn. You won't grow where you needed to grow through those things. They will just be things that have happened and next year there'll be more things that happen and, and life is happening to you, not for you. 
So over these next six days or whenever you're watching this, however many days that you have left in the year at that point, carve out some time to sit down and just start jotting down all the different things that happened this year and reflect on those things and how you can use that. What was the lesson that I learned when I went through that back in January, back in March, back in May? What was, what was I supposed to learn through going that process? Because everything happens for a reason. So what was the reason for that? Like, why did I have to go through that? What was the lesson in that? I promise you there is one. But so oftentimes we miss the lesson because we don't take time to think about what we actually went through. We don't take time to journal it out and figure out like, what was I supposed to be learning through that process? Like what was, what was the key thing that I can take out of that situation and I can use next year so that when I face something similar, when I face a new obstacle that smells the same, that looks the same, that I can come at it from a whole different angle, that I can come out, come at it with a whole new perspective because of what I went through last year. I think oftentimes we just, we're just walking through life and tiptoeing through life and these things just happen to us and we just keep on pushing forward for the sake of progress. But true progress is made when you go through those things and you grow through those things because you take the time to reflect and learn the lessons along the way. And so, so much of what we talk about on this podcast is all about having a sense of urgency and fast as the new big and keep pushing and do it anyway. But there are times when you just need to slow down and you need to just, you know, sit and think and reflect and learn and grow. And you can call that slowing down to speed up. So these last few days, slow down to speed up, slow down so that next year you can run faster, slow down so that next year you can go through those things faster so that next year you can solve those problems quicker. And I truly believe that there will be one, two, three things that you reflect on that at some point, on one day next year, you will go, man, I'm so glad that I sat down on you know, December 28th and thought that through and really learned the lesson that I was supposed to learn from that thing that happened six months prior. Because had I not really thought that through, I would not have gotten through this situation today. So what's that going to be for you? I don't know, but it will be something if you take the time and really, really invest in yourself. So with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome Christmas. I hope you start 2020 off with a bang. But man, take some time. Slow down to speed up. With that, guys, this is episode 149 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!